OK, so for this question then, we're given the position vectors of A and B and also told that the vector AB equals the vector BD and we've got to find the position vector of D. Now, whenever I'm doing vector questions, say something like this, I always find it a good idea to sketch a diagram. And so with that, I'm going to just say that we've got our origin, say, here, and just pick a point. Let's say this is the position vector of the point A. I'll just mark the coordinates in of A. That would be 2, 3, minus 4. And this will be the origin. Notice you can just draw this anywhere you like. It doesn't matter, OK? So uh, I'm often asked, where do you put this just anywhere okay it doesn't matter now we've got the position vector of b so i'm just going to say then that let's say it goes from here to let's say that point there okay and that's the point b and i'm marking its coordinates as 4 minus 2 3 and we're told that a to B equals B to D. So in other words, if we look at A to B, which would be a vector in that direction, then if it's got to be the same vector, it's going to be from B to D, it's going to be the same length in the same direction. So I would say D would be somewhere there. OK, these two lengths would be exactly the same. And the position vector of D would be given by this vector here, O to D. All right. This will be the point D. Now, we've got the diagram. Should be fairly straightforward to visualize what's happening. If we're going to aim to get that vector O to D, how can we get from O to D? Well, it can be O to A plus two lots of a to B. So if we just put that in, O to A plus or followed by two lots of A to B. Now, when it comes to A to B, okay, let's just put this in. A to B, standard result, okay, it's going to be the same as O to B minus O to A. All right. You can see it from the diagram, actually. If you're going from A to B, it's in the re reverse direction of O to A. So that's the minus OA and plus OB. I've just changed these around, OK? OB minus OA. Now, all I need to do is just, say, open up this bracket here. And you can see that I've got two lots of O to B. So we've got two lots of O to B. And then we've got O to A minus two lots of O to A, so it's going to be minus O to A. And all I need to do now is just fill in our values. We've got two lots of O to B. And O to B, I'm going to write it as a column vector. This time is 4 minus 2, 3. So you've got 4 minus 2, 3. And we've got minus O to A. And O to A will be 2, 3 minus 4. 2, 3, minus 4. And if you work this out in the usual way, you're going to end up with 8 here, minus 2, which is 6. And you've got minus 4, minus 3, so that's minus 7. And you've got 6 here, plus 4. That's going to be a total of 10. So there's your column vector. You can either leave it like that, or you might want to write it in i's, j's, and k's. So that's going to be 6i. I just underline the i's, minus 7j, and then plus the 10k. All right, so hopefully you've been able to see your way through that one.